Alexander Cabanel was a French 19th century artist who was well established within the academic art movement. His most famous paintings include Fallen Angel, The Birth of Venus, and Phaedra. Alexander Cabanel was born in the French city of Montpellier on September 28, 1823. He joined a local art school after showing some early artistic promise. He continued to impress and was rewarded with a prestigious opportunity at the École des Beaux-Arts in the French capital, Paris. The artist took on mythological scenes from an early age. He made use of the impressive technical skills which he had developed during his education in Paris. Figurative art and portraiture were the dominant genres within his oeuvre, with attractive young female models being his most common choice. Cabanel was a fierce defender of traditional artistic techniques within Paris. He firmly rejected the contemporary styles of the Impressionists as they started to compete for attention within the major French galleries. Now a word from our sponsor. Check out the link below. It is available for a very limited time on one of our other YouTube channels. In that channel you may find fun crafts, repairs, simple and fascinating tricks, in addition to some awesome and brilliant ideas. And now back to our video. He saw little value in their work as they did in his, and eventually it proved necessary for the two groups to exhibit separately. Alexander's themes cannot be described as original and are seen throughout the academic art movement, but he was respected for his fluid brushwork and polished technique. Even as interest in the academic movement started to fade, Cabanel still enjoyed some high-profile donors who enthusiastically collected his work. Cabanel became a respected figure within the upper society. He became the preferred painter of Napoleon III. Also, he received many awards throughout his career, including the Grand Medaille d'Honneur at the Salons of 1865, 1867, and 1878. As his life progressed, he would start to teach within the same institutions that had promoted his career. His strongest legacy would be shown through the young pupils who came under his influence. Ultimately, the academic art movement would lose out to the Impressionists, who offered more emotion and imagination. In today's world, there is room for both. His technical skills cannot be doubted, and he was also a passionate supporter of what he believed in, even though it would eventually fall out of fashion. Cabanel's style summarizes the mainstream Parisian art scene during the 19th century. This was prior to the arrival of artists such as Monet, Caillebotte, Degas, and Renoir, who would shake things up. A century or more later, we can now appreciate his achievements and analyze his work in a more neutral manner, without concerning ourselves over the competing movements at that time. Cabanel was taken under the wings of Francois Edouard Picot, who introduced him to a variety of artistic styles and helped him develop his technical skills as a painter. His studies would introduce him to significant subjects that would inspire the genre in which he worked and were not just about teaching artistic technique. He became familiar with themes such as religion, mythology, European history, and literature. Cabanel was now a fully rounded young man with all of the skills required 
for him to have a successful career. Cabanel spent many years living in Italy as a reward for his participation in the Prix de Rome competition, in which he was runner-up. This scholarship brought new ideas into his work, and he took in as much as possible through study and practice before returning to Paris. He would exhibit at the Salon for decades to come and became a highly respected, established figure in 19th century French art. His acceptance into the French art institutions brought many opportunities to Cabanel, including a mixture of commissions, Internal decorations for prominent members of high society followed, but his traditional paintings always remained his primary focus. Alexander Cabanel would spend his later years teaching young students the technical skills that he had amassed over his lifetime. In addition to opening their eyes to different subjects that could potentially inspire their work, while his painting style was a part of the academic approach and included inspiration from the Romanticist and Neoclassicist movements, he allowed his students to express themselves freely. He was closely connected to the Paris Salon. He was elected regularly to the Salon jury and his pupils could be counted by the hundred at the Salons. Through them, Cabanel did more than any other artist of his generation to form the character of Belle Epoque French painting. His refusal together with William Adolphe Beaugereau to allow the Impressionist painter Edouard Manet and many other painters to exhibit their work in the Salon of 1863 led to the establishment of the Salon des Refusés by the French government. Cabanel won the Grand Modaille d'Honneur at the Salons of 1865, 1867, and 1878. Alexander Cabanel died on January 23, 1889, in Paris, France. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for liking, and thank you for subscribing. It means the world to us. See you in the following video.